Goa listen is a state on the western coast of India, within the region known as the Konkan. It is bounded by Maharashtra to the north and Karnataka to the east and south, with the Arabian Sea forming its western coast. It is India's smallest state by area and the fourth smallest by population. Goa has the highest GDP per capita among all Indian states, two and a half times that of the country. It was ranked the best placed state by the 11th Finance Commission for its infrastructure and ranked on top for the best quality of life in India by the National Commission on Population based on the 12 indicators. Panaji is the state's capital, while Vasco da Gama is its largest city. The historic city of Margao still exhibits the cultural influence of the Portuguese, who first landed in the early 16th century as merchants and conquered it soon thereafter. Goa is a former Portuguese province. The Portuguese overseas territory of Portuguese India existed for about 450 years until it was annexed by India in 1961. Goa is visited by large numbers of international and domestic tourists each year for its white sand beaches, nightlife, places of worship, and World Heritage listed architecture. It has rich flora and fauna, owing to its location on the Western Ghats Range, a biodiversity hotspot. Etymology In ancient literature, Goa was known by many names, such as Gomanshala, Gopakapatana, Gopakapadam, Gopakapuri, Govapuri, Govam, and Gomantic. Other historical names for Goa are Sindapur, Sandabur, and Mahasapadam. History Rock art engravings found in Goa exhibit the earliest traces of human life in India. Goa, situated within the Shimoga Goa greenstone belt in the Western Ghats an area composed of metavolcanics, iron formations and ferruginous quartzite, yields evidence for a Chulian occupation. Rock art engravings petroglyphs are present on laterite platforms and granite boulders in Uskalimal near the west flowing Kushavati River and in Kajur. In Kajur, the rock engravings of animals, tectiforms and other designs in granite have been associated with what is considered to be a megalithic stone circle with a round granite stone in the center. Petroglyphs, cones, stone axe, and choppers dating to 10,000 years ago have been found in various locations in Goa, including Kajur, Moksam, and the Mandovi Zuari Basin. Evidence of Paleolithic life is visible at Dabalim, Adkhan, Shigao, Fatorpa, Arli, Malinguinam, Diwar, Sangwem, Pylern, and Akim Margaon. Difficulty in carbon dating the laterite rock compounds poses a problem for determining the exact time period. Early Goan society underwent radical change when Indo-Aryan and Dravidian migrants amalgamated with the Aboriginal locals, forming the base of early Goan culture. In the 3rd century BC, Goa was part of the Maurya Empire, ruled by the Buddhist emperor Ashoka of Magadha. Buddhist monks laid the foundation of Buddhism in Goa. Between the 2nd century BC and the 6th century AD, Goa was ruled by the Bhojas of Goa. Chudas of Karwar also ruled some parts as feudatories of the Satavahanas of Kolhapur, 2nd century BC to the 2nd century AD, Western Shatrapas around 150 AD, the Abharas of Western Maharashtra, Bhojas of the Yadav clans of Gujarat, and the Konkan Mauryas as feudatories of the Kalachuris. The rule later passed to the Chalukyas of Badami, who controlled it between 578 and 753, and later the Rashtrakutas of Malkt from 753 to 963. From 765 to 1015, the southern Silharas of Konkan ruled Goa as the feudatories of the Chalukyas and the Rashtrakutas. Over the next few centuries, Goa was successively ruled by the Kadambas as the feudatories of the Chalukyas of Kalyani. They patronized Jainism in Goa. In 1312, Goa came under the governance of the Delhi Sultanate. The kingdom's grip on the region was weak, and by 1370 it was forced to surrender it to Harihara I of the Vijayanagara Empire. The Vijayanagara monarchs held on to the territory until 1469, when it was appropriated by the Bahmani sultans of Gulbarga. After that dynasty crumbled, the area fell into the hands of the Adil Shahis of Bijapur, who established as their auxiliary capital the city known under the Portuguese as Vela Goa or Old Goa. In 1510, the Portuguese defeated the ruling Bijapur Sultan Yusuf Adil Shah with the help of a local ally, Timaya. They set up a permanent settlement in Vela Goa. This was the beginning of Portuguese rule in Goa that would last for four and a half centuries, until its annexation in 1961. 
The Goa Inquisition, a formal tribunal, was established in 1560, and was finally abolished in 1812. In 1843, the Portuguese moved the capital to Panaji from Vela Goa. By the mid 18th century, Portuguese Goa had expanded to most of the present day state limits. Simultaneously the Portuguese lost other possessions in India until their borders stabilized and formed the Estado da India Portuguesa or State of Portuguese India of which Goa was the largest territory after India gained independence from the British in 1947 India requested that Portuguese territories on the Indian subcontinent be ceded to India Portugal refused to negotiate on the sovereignty of its Indian enclaves on 19 December 1961, the Indian Army invaded with Operation Vijay resulting in the annexation of Goa, and of Daman and Diu Islands into the Indian Union. Goa, along with Daman and Diu, was organised as a centrally administered Union Territory of India. On 30 May 1987, the Union Territory was split, and Goa was made India's 25th state, with Daman and Diu remaining a Union Territory. Geography and climate Geography Goa encompasses an area of 3,702 square kilometres it lies between the latitudes 14 degrees 53 minutes 54 seconds north and 15 degrees 40 00 N and longitude 73 degrees 40 minutes 33 seconds east and 74 degrees 20 minutes 13 seconds east Goa is a part of the coastal country known as the Konkan, which is an escarpment rising up to the western Ghats range of mountains, which separate it from the Deccan Plateau. The highest point is the Sansagore, with an altitude of 1,167 metres 3,829 feet. Goa has a coastline of 101 kilometres 63 miles. Goa's seven major rivers are the Zuari, Mandovi, Tarikal, Chapora, Galgabag, Kumbarjwa Canal, Talpona and the Sal. The Zuari and the Mandovi are the most important rivers, interspaced by the Kumbarjwa Canal, forming a major estuarine complex. These rivers are fed by the southwest monsoon rain and their basin covers 69% of the state's geographical area. These rivers are some of the busiest in India. Goa has more than 40 estuarine, 8 marine, and about 90 riverine islands. The total navigable length of Goa's rivers is 253 kilometers, 157 miles. Goa has more than 300 ancient water tanks built during the rule of the Kadamba dynasty and over 100 medicinal springs. The Mormugayo Harbour on the mouth of the river Zuari is one of the best natural harbours in South Asia. Most of Goa's soil cover is made up of laterites rich in ferric aluminium oxides and reddish in colour. Further inland and along the riverbanks, the soil is mostly alluvial and loamy. The soil is rich in minerals and humus, thus conducive to agriculture. Some of the oldest rocks in the Indian subcontinent are found in Goa between Mullam and Anmod on Goa's border with Karnataka. The rocks are classified as Trongemitic gneiss estimated to be 3,600 million years old, dated by rubidium isotope dating. A specimen of the rock is exhibited at Goa University. <laughs> Climate Goa features a tropical monsoon climate under the Köppen climate classification. Goa, being in the tropical zone and near the Arabian Sea, has a hot and humid climate for most of the year. The month of May is usually the hottest, seeing daytime temperatures of over 35 degrees Celsius 95 degrees Fahrenheit coupled with high humidity. The state's three seasons are, southwest monsoon period June to September, post-monsoon period October to January and fair weather period February to May. Over 90% of the average annual rainfall 120 inches is received during the monsoon season. <inaudible> Subdivisions The state is divided into two districts, North Goa and South Goa. Each district is administered by a district collector, appointed by the Indian government. Panaji is the headquarters of North Goa district and is also the capital of Goa. 
North Goa is further divided into three subdivisions, Panaji, Mapusa, and Baikolam, and five taliks, Ilhas de Goa Tiswadi, Bardes Mapusa, Purnam, Baikolam, and Satari Valpoy. Margao is the headquarters of South Goa district. South Goa is further divided into five subdivisions, Panda, Mormugayo Vasco da Gama, Margao, Quepam, and Darbandora, and seven taliks, Panda, Mormugayo, Salsit Margao, Quepam, and Kanakona Chaudi, Sanguem, and Darbandora. Panda Toluca shifted from North Goa to South Goa in January 2015. Goa's major cities include Panaji, Margao, Vasco da Gama, Mapusa, Panda and Valpoi. Panaji has the only municipal corporation in Goa. There are 13 municipal councils, Margao, Mormugayo including Vasco da Gama, Pernam, Mapusa, Baikolam, Sanquilam, Valpoi, Panda, Kunkolim, Quepam, Kirkoram, Sanguem, and Kanakona. Goa has a total number of 334 villages. <laughs> Government and politics The politics of Goa are a result of the uniqueness of this region due to 450 years of Portuguese rule, in comparison to three centuries of British colonialism experienced by the rest of India. The Indian National Congress was unable to achieve electoral success in the first two decades after the state's incorporation into India. Instead, the state was dominated by the regional political parties like Maharashtrawadi Gomantic Party and the United Gones Party. Government in the Parliament of India, Goa has two seats in the Lok Sabha House of the People, one representing each district, and one seat in the Rajya Sabha Council of the States. Goa's administrative capital is Panaji in English, Pangam in Portuguese, and Panye in the local language. It lies on the left bank of the Mandovi. The seat of the Goa Legislative Assembly is in Porvorim, across the Mandovi from Panaji. As the state comes under the Bombay High Court, Panaji has a bench of it. Unlike other states, which follow the British Indian model of civil laws framed for individual religions, the Portuguese Goa Civil Code, a uniform code based on the Napoleonic Code, has been retained in Goa. Goa has a unicameral legislature of 40 members, headed by a speaker. The chief minister heads the executive, which is made up from the party or coalition elected with a majority in the legislature. The governor, the head of the state, is appointed by the President of India. After having stable governance for nearly 30 years up to 1990, Goa is now notorious for its political instability having seen 14 governments in the span of the 15 years between 1990 and 2005. In March 2005 the Assembly was dissolved by the Governor and President's rule was declared, which suspended the legislature. A by-election in June 2005 saw the Indian National Congress coming back to power after winning three of the five seats that went to polls. The Congress Party and the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP are the two largest parties in the state. In the Assembly poll of 2007, the INC-led coalition won and formed the government. In the 2012 Vedan Sabha elections, the Bharatiya Janata Party along with the Maharashtrawadi Gomantic Party won a clear majority, forming the new government with Manohar Parikar as the chief minister. Other parties include the United Gones Democratic Party, the Nationalist Congress Party. In the 2017 assembly elections, the Indian National Congress gained the most seats, with the BJP coming in second. However, no party was able to gain a majority in the 40-member House. The BJP was invited to form the government by Governor Maridala Sinha. The Congress claimed the use of money power on the part of the BJP and took the case to the Supreme Court. However, the Manohar parikar led government was able to prove its majority in the Supreme Court mandated floor test. Flora and fauna Equatorial forest cover in Goa stands at 1,424 square kilometres 549.81 square miles, most of which is owned by the government. Government-owned forest is estimated at 1,224.38 square kilometers (472.74 square miles), whilst private is given as 200 square kilometers (77.22 square miles). Most of the forests in the state are located in the interior eastern regions of the state. The Western Ghats, which form most of eastern Goa, have been internationally recognized as one of the biodiversity hotspots of the world. 
In the February 1999 issue of National Geographic magazine, Goa was compared with the Amazon and the Congo basins for its rich tropical biodiversity. Goa's wildlife sanctuaries boast of more than 1512 documented species of plants, over 275 species of birds, over 48 kinds of animals, and over 60 genera of reptiles. Goa is also known for its coconut cultivation. The coconut tree has been reclassified by the government as a palm like a grass, enabling farmers and real estate developers to clear land with fewer restrictions. Rice is the main food crop, and pulses legume, ragi finger millet and other food crops are also grown. Main cash crops are coconut, cashewnut, areconut, sugarcane and fruits like pineapple, mango and banana. Goa's state animal is the gaur, the state bird is the ruby-throated yellow bulbul, which is a variation of black-crested bulbul, and the state tree is the madi The important forest's products are bamboo canes, marada barks, chiller barks and the burand. Coconut trees are ubiquitous and are present in almost all areas of Goa barring the elevated regions. A large number of deciduous trees, such as teak, sal tree, cashew and mango trees are present. Fruits include jackfruit, mango, pineapple and blackberry podcoam in Konkani language. Goa's forests are rich with medicinal plants. Foxes, wild boar and migratory birds are found in the jungles of Goa. The avifauna bird species includes kingfisher, mina and parrot. Numerous types of fish are also caught off the coast of Goa and in its rivers. Crab, lobster, shrimp, jellyfish, oysters and catfish are the basis of the marine fishery. Goa also has a high snake population. Goa has many famous national parks, including the renowned Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary on the island of Chorao. Other wildlife sanctuaries include the Bonlo Wildlife Sanctuary, Molam Wildlife Sanctuary, Kotagao Wildlife Sanctuary, Madei Wildlife Sanctuary, Netravali Wildlife Sanctuary, and Mahavir Wildlife Sanctuary. Goa has more than 33% of its geographic area under government forests 1,224.38 square kilometers of which about 62% has been brought under protected areas PA of wildlife sanctuaries and national park. Since there is a substantial area under private forests and a large tract under cashew, mango, coconut, etc. Plantations, the total forest and tree cover constitutes 56.6% .6 of the geographic area. Economy Goa's state domestic product for 2017 is estimated at $11 billion at current prices. Goa is India's richest state with the highest GDP per capita, two and a half times that of the country, with one of its fastest growth rates, 8.23% yearly average 1990-2000. Tourism is Goa's primary industry, it gets 12% of foreign tourist arrivals in India. Goa has two main tourist seasons, winter and summer. In winter, tourists from abroad mainly Europe come, and summer which, in Goa, is the rainy season sees tourists from across India. Goa's net state domestic product NSDP was around $7.24 billion in 2015-16. The land away from the coast is rich in minerals and ores, and mining forms the second largest industry. Iron, bauxite, manganese, clays, limestone and silica are mined. The Mormagayo port handled 31.69 million tons of cargo last year, which was 39% of India's total iron ore exports. Sesa Goa now owned by Vedanta Resources and Dempo are the lead miners. Rampant mining has been depleting the forest cover as well as posing a health hazard to the local population. Corporations are also mining illegally in some areas. During 2015-16, the total traffic handled by Mormagayo port was recorded to be 20.78 million tons. Agriculture, while of shrinking importance to the economy over the past four decades, offers part-time employment to a sizable portion of the populace. Rice is the main agricultural crop, followed by areca, cashew and coconut. Fishing employs about 40,000 people, though recent official figures indicate a decline of the importance of this sector and also a fall in catch, due perhaps, to traditional fishing giving way to large-scale mechanized trawling. Medium-scale industries include the manufacturing of pesticides, fertilizers, tires, tubes, footwear, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, wheat products, steel rolling, fruits and fish canning, cashew nuts, textiles, brewery products. 
Currently there are 16 planned SEZs in Goa. The Goa government has recently decided to not allow any more special economic zones SEZs in Goa after strong opposition to them by political parties and the powerful Goa Catholic Church. Goa is also notable for its low-priced beer, wine and spirits prices due to its very low excise duty on alcohol. Another main source of cash inflow to the state is remittance, from many of its citizens who work abroad, to their families. It is said to have some of the largest bank savings in the country. Goa is the second state in India to achieve a 100% automatic telephone system with a solid network of telephone exchanges. As of September 2017, Goa had a total installed power generation capacity of 547.88 MW. Goa is also one of the few states in India to achieve 100% rural electrification. Demographics Population A native of Goa is called a Goan. Goa has a population of 1.459 million residents, making it India's fourth smallest after Sikkim, Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh. The population has a growth rate of 8.23% per decade. There are 394 people for each square kilometre of land which is higher than national average 382 per square kilometres. Goa is the state with highest proportion of urban population with 62.17% of the population living in urban areas. The sex ratio is 973 females to 1,000 males. The birth rate is 15.70 per 1,000 people in 2007. Goa also is the state with lowest proportion of scheduled tribes at 0.04%. A relatively small Goan Portuguese mixed race population resulted from Portuguese colonization, one estimate being that less than 100 Mestico families left in 1961 when Portugal lost the colony. Languages <inaudible> 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 The Goa, Daman and Diu Official Language Act, 1987 makes Konkani in the Devanagari script the sole official language of Goa, but provides that Marathi may also be used, for all or any of the official purposes. Portuguese was the sole official language during Portuguese colonial rule. It is now, however, mostly spoken by only the elderly Portuguese educated populations and is no longer an official language. The government also has a policy of replying in Marathi to correspondence received in Marathi. Whilst there have been demands for according Konkani in the Roman script official status in the state, there is widespread support for keeping Konkani as the sole official language of Goa. It is however notable to mention that the entire liturgy and communication of the Catholic Church in Goa is done solely in the Roman script of Konkani. Konkani is spoken as a native language by about 66.11% of the people in the state but almost all Goans can speak and understand Konkani. Other linguistic minorities in the state as per the 2011 census are speakers of Marathi 10.89%, Hindi 10.29%, Kannada 4.66% and Urdu 2.83%. Until 1987, Konkani was neither the official nor administrative language used by the various rulers of the state. Under the Kadambas C 960-1310 The court language was Kannada, a Dravidian language, and when under Muslim rule 1312-1370 and 1469-1510, the official and cultural language was Persian. Various stones in the Goa Archaeological Museum from the period are inscribed in Kannada and Persian. During the intervening periods of Muslim rule, the Vijayanagara control of the state mandated the use of Telugu, another Dravidian language. Religion According to the 2011 census, in a population of 1,458,545 people, 66.1% were Hindu, 25.1% were Christian, and 8.3% were Muslim. Smaller minorities of about 0.1% each followed Sikhism, Buddhism, or Jainism. Due to the economic decline of the Estado da India from the 18th century, there was a large scale migration of Goan Catholics. The local Indian Christians were called Indiacados, and the mixed population, Mesticos by the Portuguese. 
The population moved from 64.5% Christians and 35% Hindus in 1851 to 50% Christians and 50% Hindus in 1900, with a steady increase in the Hindu proportion from then onwards. The Catholics in Goa State and Daman and Diu Union Territory are served by the Metropolitan Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Goa and Daman, the Primatial See of India, in which the titular Patriarchate of the East Indies is vested. Tourism Tourism is generally focused on the coastal areas of Goa, with decreased tourist activity inland. In 2010, there were more than 2 million tourists reported to have visited Goa, about 1.2 million of whom were from abroad. As of 2013, Goa was a destination of choice for Indian and foreign tourists, particularly Britons and Russians, with limited means who wanted to party. The state was hopeful that changes could be made which would attract a more upscale demographic. Goa stands sixth in the top ten nightlife cities in the world in National Geographic travel. One of the biggest tourist attractions in Goa is water sports. Beaches like Baga and Kalingut offer jet skiing, parasailing, banana boat rides, water scooter rides, and more. Patname Beach in Palolam stood third in CNN Travel's top 20 beaches in Asia. Over 450 years of Portuguese rule and the influence of the Portuguese culture presence to visitors to Goa, a cultural environment that is not found elsewhere in India. Goa is often described as a fusion between Eastern and Western culture, with Portuguese culture having a dominant position in the state, be it in its architectural, cultural, or social settings. The state of Goa is famous for its excellent beaches, churches, and temples. The Bomb Jesus Cathedral, Fort Aguada and a new wax museum on Indian history, culture and heritage in Old Goa are other tourism destinations. Historic sites and neighborhoods Goa has two World Heritage Sites, the Bomb Jesus Basilica and Churches and Convents of Old Goa. The basilica holds the mortal remains of Saint Francis Javier, regarded by many Catholics as the patron saint of Goa the patron of the Archdiocese of Goa is actually Saint Joseph Vaz. These are both Portuguese-era monuments and reflect a strong European character. The relics are taken down for veneration and for public viewing, as per the prerogative of the church in Goa, not every 10 or 12 years is popularly thought and propagated. The last exposition was held in 2014. Goa has the sanctuary of St. Joseph Vaz in Sankol. Pilar Monastery which holds novenas of Venerable Padre Agnello Gustavo de Souza from 10 November to 20 November yearly. There is a claimed Marian apparition at the Church of St. Simon and Jude at Batum, Gangsam, near Pilar, where Gones and non-resident Gones visit. There is the statue of the Bleeding Jesus on the crucifix at the Santa Monica Convent in Vela Goa. There are churches Igorzo, like the Baroque-styled Nixkalonk Gorb Sambo of Sibinich Igors Church of the Our Lady of Immaculate Conception in Panaji, the Gothic-styled Mater Dei Dev Matakai Igors, Mother of God Church in Salagao and each church having its own style and heritage, besides Capellum, Ermiti chapels. The Velas Conquistas regions are known for Goa Portuguese-style architecture. There are many forts in Goa such as Tiracol, Chapora, Corjuam, Aguada, Reis Magos, Nanus, Mormugayo, Fort Gaspar Dias and Cabo de Rama. In many parts of Goa, mansions constructed in the Indo-Portuguese style architecture still stand, though in some villages, most of them are in a dilapidated condition. Fontanas in Panaji has been declared a cultural quarter, showcasing the life, architecture and culture of Goa. Influences from the Portuguese era are visible in some of Goa's temples, notably the Shanta Durga Temple, the Mangeshi Temple, the Sri Damodar Temple and the Mahalasa Temple. After 1961, many of these were demolished and reconstructed in the indigenous Indian style. Museums and Science Center Goa has three important museums, the Goa State Museum, the Naval Aviation Museum and the National Institute of Oceanography. The Aviation Museum is one of three in India the others are in Delhi and Bengaluru. The Goa Science Centre is in Miramar, Panaji. The National Institute of Oceanography is in Dona Pala. Culture 
Having been a Portuguese territory for over 450 years, Goa's culture is an interesting amalgamation of both Eastern and Western styles, with the latter having a more dominant role. The Tableau of Goa showcases religious harmony by focusing on the Deepastamba, the cross and Goad Madni followed by a chariot. Western royal attire of kings is as much part of Goa's cultural heritage as are regional dances performed depicting a unique blend of different religions and cultures of this state. Prominent local festivals are Christmas, Easter, Carnival, Diwali, Shigmo, Chavoth, Sambatsar Padvo, Dussehra etc. The Goan Carnival and Christmas New Year celebrations are well known to attract a large number of tourists. The Gomant Vibhushan Award, the highest civilian honor of the state of Goa, is given annually by Government of Goa since 2010. Dance and music Traditional Goan art forms are Dekni, Fugdi, Koridinho, Mondo, Dulpad and Fado. Goan Catholics are fond of social gatherings and Tiatr teatro. As part of its Portuguese history, music is an integral part of Goan homes. It is often said that, Goans are born with music and sport. Western musical instruments like the piano, guitars and violins are widely used in most religious and social functions of the Catholics. Goan Hindus are very fond of Natak, Bhajan and Kirtan. Many famous Indian classical singers hail from Goa, including Mogubai Kurdikar, Kishori Amunkar, Kesarbai Kirkar, Jitendra Abhisheki and Pandit Prabhakar Karikar. Goa is also known as the origin of Goa trance. Topic theater Natak, Tiatr most popular, and Yagor are the chief forms of Goa's traditional performance arts. Other forms are Ranmail, Dashavatari, Kalo, Gulankala, Lalit, Kala and Rathkala. Stories from the Ramayana and the Mahabharata along with more modern social subjects are narrated with song and dance. Yagor, the traditional folk dance drama, is performed by the Hindu Kunbi and Christian Gauda community of Goa, to seek the divine grace for protection and prosperity of the crop. Literal meaning of Yagor is Jagran or wakeful nights. The strong belief is that the night-long performance, awakens the deities once a year and they continue to remain awake throughout the year guarding the village. Purni Yagor is the ancient mask dance, drama of Goa, performed by Purni families, using well-crafted and painted wooden masks, depicting various animals, birds, supernatural power, deities, demons and social characters. Gauda Yagor, is an impression of social life, that displays all the existing moods and modes of human characters. It is predominantly based on three main characters, Garashar, Nakandar and Parpati wearing shining dress and headgears. The performance is accompanied by vibrant tunes of Goan folk instruments like Nagara, Dobi, Gumat, Madail and Kansail. In some places, Yagor performances are held with participation of both Hindus and Christian community, whereby, characters are played by Hindus and musical support is provided by Christian artists, Tiatr Teatro, and its artists play a major role in keeping the Konkani language and music alive. Teatres are conducted solely in the Roman script of Konkani as it is primarily a Christian community-based act. They are played in scenes with music at regular intervals, the scenes are portrayals of daily life and are known to depict social and cultural scenarios. Tiatrs are regularly held especially on weekends mainly at Kala Academy, Panaji, Pai Teatrist Hall at Ravindra Bhavan, Margao and most recent shows have also started at the new Ravindra Bhavan, Baina, Vasco. Western musical instruments such as drums, bass, keyboards, trumpets etc. are part of the show and most of them are played acoustically. It is one of Goa's few art forms that is renowned across the world with performances popular among Goans in the Middle East, Americas and Europe. Konkani cinema Konkani cinema is an Indian film industry, where films are made in the Konkani language, which is spoken mainly in the Indian states of Goa, Maharashtra and Karnataka and to a smaller extent in Kerala. Konkani films have been produced in Goa, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Kerala. The first full-length Konkani film was Mogacho Anvido, released on the 24th of April 1950 and was produced and directed by AL Jerry Braganza, a native of Mapusa, under the banner of Etika Pictures. 
Hence, 24 April is celebrated as Konkani Film Day. Since 2004, starting from the 35th edition, the International Film Festival of India moved its permanent venue to Goa. It is annually held in the months of November and December. Konkani film Paltadsho Manas has been included in the world's best films of 2009 list. Konkani films are eligible for the National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Konkani. The most commercially successful Konkani film as of June 2011 is O Maria directed by Rajendra Talak. In 2012, the whole new change adopted in Konkani cinema by introducing digital theatrical film, The Victim, directed by Milroy Goes. Some old Konkani films are Sukacham Sapan, Amcham Naksab, Nirman, M. Hoji Gorkarn, Kortubancho Savsar, Jivat Amcham Aksam, Mog Ani Moipas, Buarantlo Muniz, Suzanne, Boglant, Padri, and Bogsun. Ujawadu is a 2011 Konkani film directed by Kasargad Chinna and produced by K.J. Donajaya and Anuradha Patiyar. Topic food rice with fish curry XIT Kodi in Konkani is the staple diet in Goa. Goan cuisine is famous for its rich variety of fish dishes cooked with elaborate recipes. Coconut and coconut oil are widely used in gone cooking along with chili peppers, spices, and vinegar is used in the Catholic cuisine, giving the food a unique flavor. The gone cuisine is heavily influenced by Portuguese cuisine. Gone food may be divided into gone Catholic and gone Hindu cuisine with each showing very distinct tastes, characteristics, and cooking styles. Pork dishes such as vindalo, shakuti, chorizo, and sorpatel are cooked for major occasions among the gone Catholics. An exotic goan vegetable stew, known as kot kate, is a very popular dish during the celebrations of festivals, Hindu and Christian alike. Kot kate contains at least five vegetables, fresh coconut, and special goan spices that add to the aroma. Saunas, hit, are variants of idli and pole, amboli, and kailoleo are variants of dosa, all are native to Goa. A rich egg-based, multi-layered sweet dish known as bebinka is a favorite at Christmas. There are some places in Goa which are famous for Goa's traditional and special cuisines. Rose omelette is one of the most popular snacks and street foods in Goa, it is traditionally sold on food carts on streets. The most popular alcoholic beverage in Goa is feni, cashew feni is made from the fermentation of the fruit of the cashew tree, while coconut feni is made from the sap of toddy palms. Arak is another local liquor prepared from cashew fruit. In fact the bar culture is one of the unique aspects of the Goan villages where a local bar serves as a meeting point for villagers to unwind. Goa also has a rich wine culture. Goa is also home to Paul John Whiskey. The distillery is located in Kunkolim, South Goa. The pure underground table of water in Goa, along with rain-fed water sources and water flowing through the western ghats enhances the purity of the spirit. Goa's weather helps accelerate maturation at an angel share of 8-10%, unlike other whiskies produced in colder climates. This whisky has won more than 200 international awards in six years and has recently opened a visitor center at Paul John Distillery, the first of its kind in India. Visitors can learn the art of whisky making and also understand the story of this whisky. Witness the craft and time-honored process behind the making of Paul John single malts here. Topic. Architecture The architecture of Goa is a combination of Goan, Ottoman and Portuguese styles. Since the Portuguese ruled and governed for four centuries, many churches and houses bear a striking element of the Portuguese style of architecture. Goan Hindu houses do not show any Portuguese influence, though the modern temple architecture is an amalgam of original Goan temple style with Dravidian, Hamadpanthi, Islamic, and Portuguese architecture. The original Goan temple architecture fell into disuse as the temples were demolished by the Portuguese and the stapati known as Thavei in Konkani were converted to Christianity though the wooden work and the Kavi murals can still be seen. See, Goa, Hindu temples and deities by Rui Gomes Pereira. Topic media and communication Goa is served by almost all television channels available in India. Channels are received through cable in most parts of Goa. In the interior regions, channels are received via satellite dishes. Doordarshan, the national television broadcaster, has two free terrestrial channels on air, DTH direct to home TV services are available from Dish TV, Videocon D2H, Tata Sky and DD Direct Plus. The All India Radio is the only radio channel in the state that broadcasts on both FM and AM bands. 
Two AM channels are broadcast, the primary channel at 1,287 kHz and the Vivi Bharati channel at 1,539 kHz. AIR's FM channel is called FM Rainbow and is broadcast at 105.4 MHz. A number of private FM radio channels are available, Big FM at 92.7 and Radio Indigo at 91.9 MHz. There is also an educational radio channel, Gyan Vani, run by Ignau Broadcast from Panaji at 107.8 MHz. In 2006, St. Xavier's College, Mapusa, became the first college in the state to launch a campus community radio station Voice of Xavier's. Major cellular service operators include Bharti Airtel, Vodafone SR, Idea Cellular, Telenor, Reliance Infocom, Tata Docomo, BSNL Salon and Geo. Local publications include the English language O Geraldo, Goa's oldest, once a Portuguese language paper, the Gomantic Times and the Navin Times. In addition to these, the Times of India and the Indian Express are also received from Mumbai and Bangalore in the urban areas. The Times of India has recently started publication from Goa itself, serving the local population news directly from the state capital. Among the list of officially accredited newspapers are O Geraldo, the Navin Times and the Gomantic Times in English, Bongar Buin in Konkani Devanagari script, and Tarun Bharat, Gomantic, Navprabha, Goa Times, Sanatan Prabhat, Govadut and Lakmat all in Marathi. All are dailies. Other publications in the state include Planet Goa English, Monthly, Goa Today English, Monthly, Gone Observer English, Weekly, Varadiancho IXTT Roman Script Konkani, Weekly, Goa Messenger, Vasco Watch, Gulab Konkani, Monthly, BIMB Devanagari Script Konkani. Sports Normally other states are fond of cricket but association football is the most popular sport in Goa and is embedded in Goan culture as a result of the Portuguese influence. Its origins in the state are traced back to 1883 when the visiting Irish priest Fr. William Robert Lyons established the sport as part of a Christian education. On the 22nd of December 1959 the Associação de Futebol de Goa was formed, which continues to administer the game in the state under the new name Goa Football Association. Goa, along with West Bengal and Kerala is the locus of football in India and is home to many football clubs in the National I League. The state's football powerhouses include Salgauchar, Dempo, Churchill Brothers, Vasco, Sporting Clube de Goa and FC Goa. The first Unity World Cup was held in Goa in 2014. The state's main football stadium, Fatterda Stadium, is located at Margao and also hosts cricket matches. The state hosted few matches of the 2017 FIFA U-17 World Cup in Fatterda Stadium. A number of Goans have represented India in football and six of them, namely Samir Naik, Climax Lawrence, Brahmanan Sankwalkar, Bruno Cochinho, Mauricio Afonso and Roberto Fernandez have all captained the national team. Goa has its own state football team and league, the Goa Professional League. It is probably the only state in India where cricket is not considered the most important of all sports. Goa also has its own cricket team. Dilip Sardisay remains the only Goan to date to play international cricket for India. The Indian Olympic Association IOA has won the right to host the Asian Beach Games in 2020. Topic education Goa had India's earliest educational institutions built with European support. The Portuguese set up seminaries for religious education and parish schools for elementary education. Founded circa 1542 by St. Francis Javier, St. Paul's College, Goa was a Jesuit school in Old Goa, which later became a college. St. Paul's was once the main Jesuit institution in the whole of Asia. It housed the first printing press in India and published the first books in 1556. Medical education began in 1801 with the offering of regular medical courses at the Royal and Military Hospital in the old city of Goa. Built in 1842 as the Escola Medico Surgica de Nova Goa Medical Surgical School of Goa, Goa Medical College is one of Asia's oldest medical colleges and has one of the oldest medical libraries since 1845. It houses the largest hospital in Goa and continues to provide medical training to this day. According to the 2011 census, Goa has a literacy rate of 87%, with 90% of males and 84% of females being literate. Each taluka is made up of villages, each having a school run by the government. 
Private schools are preferred over government-run schools. All schools come under the GOA Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education, whose syllabus is prescribed by the State Education Department. There are also a few schools that subscribe to the All India ICSE syllabus or the NIOS syllabus. Most students in Goa complete their high school with English as the medium of instruction. Most primary schools, however, use Konkani and Marathi in private, but government-aided schools. As is the case in most of India, enrollment for vernacular media has seen a fall in numbers in favour of English medium education. As per a report published in the Times of India, 84% of Goan primary schools run without an administrative head. Some notable schools in Goa include Sharada Mandir School in Miramar, Loyola High School in Margao and the King's School in São José de Ariel. After 10 years of schooling, students join a higher secondary school, which offers courses in popular streams such as science, arts, law and commerce. A student may also opt for a course in vocational studies. Additionally, they may join three-year diploma courses. Two years of college is followed by a professional degree program. Goa University, the sole university in Goa, is located in Taliagao and most Goan colleges are affiliated to it. There are six engineering colleges in the state. Goa Engineering College and National Institute of Technology Goa are government-funded colleges whereas the private engineering colleges include Don Bosco College of Engineering at Fadarda, Sri Rayashwar Institute of Engineering and Information Technology at Sharoda, Agnel Institute of Technology and Design AITD, Asagao, Bardes and Padre Conceição College of Engineering at Verna. In 2004, Bits Palani one of the premier institutes in India, inaugurated its second campus, the Bits Palani Goa campus, at Zarinagar near Dabalim. The Indian Institute of Technology Goa, IIT Goa began functioning from its temporary campus, located in Goa Engineering College since 2016. The site for permanent campus was finalized in Kotarli, Sangwem. There are colleges offering pharmacy, architecture and dentistry along with numerous private colleges offering law, arts, commerce and science. There are also two national oceanographic science related centers, the National Center for Antarctic and Ocean Research in Vasco da Gama and the National Institute of Oceanography in Dona Pala. Goa Institute of Management located at Sankwalam, near Panaji is one of India's premier business schools. In addition to the engineering colleges, there are government polytechnic institutions in Panaji, Baikulam and Kirkoram, and aided institutions like Father Agnel Polytechnic in Verna and the Institute of Shipbuilding Technology in Vasco da Gama which impart technical and vocational training. Other colleges in Goa include Sri Damodar College of Commerce and Economics, VVM's RM Salgauchar Higher Secondary School in Margao, GVM's SNJA Higher Secondary School, Don Bosco College, D. M's College of Arts, Science and Commerce, St. Xavier's College, Carmel College, the Parvatabai Chogyal College, Dempi College, Damodar College, MES College, SS Samedi's Higher Secondary School of Science and Rosary College of Commerce and Arts. Transportation <inaudible> 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 Air Goa International Airport, is a civil enclave at Inz Hansa, a naval airfield located at Dabalim near Vasco da Gama. The airport caters to scheduled domestic and international air services. Goa has scheduled international connections to Doha, Dubai, Muscat, Sharjah and Kuwait in the Middle East by airlines like Air Arabia, Air India, GoAir, Indigo, Oman Air, SpiceJet, Jet Airways, JetConnect and Qatar Airways. The proposed Greenfield Mopa Airport will be built at Mopa in Pernam Toluca. Road Goa's public transport largely consists of privately operated buses linking the major towns to rural areas. Government-run buses, maintained by the Kadamba Transport Corporation, link major routes like the Panaji Margao route and some remote parts of the state. The corporation owns 15 bus stands, four depots and one central workshop at Porvorim and a head office at Porvorim. In large towns such as Panahi and Margao, intra-city buses operate. However, public transport in Goa is less developed, and residents depend heavily on their own transportation, usually motorized two-wheelers and small family cars. 
Goa has four national highways passing through it. NH66 XNH17 runs along India's west coast and links Goa to Mumbai in the north and Mangalore to the south. NH4A running across the state connects the capital Panaji to Belgaum in east, linking Goa to cities in the Deccan. The NH366 XNH17A connects NH66 to Mormugayo port from Kortalam. The new NH566 XNH17B is a four-lane highway connecting Mormugayo port to NH66 at Verna via Dabalim Airport, primarily built to ease pressure on the NH366 for traffic to Dabalim Airport and Vasco da Gama. NH768 XNH4A links Panaji and Panda to Belgaum and NH4. Goa has a total of 224 kilometers, 139 miles of national highways, 232 kilometers, 144 miles of state highway and 815 kilometers, 506 miles of district highway. National highways in Goa are among the narrowest in the country and will remain so for the foreseeable future, as the state government has received an exemption that allows narrow national highways. In Kerala, highways are 45 metres 148 feet wide. In other states national highways are grade-separated highways 60 metres 200 feet wide with a minimum of four lanes, as well as six or eight lane access controlled expressways. Hired forms of transport include unmetered taxis and, in urban areas, auto rickshaws. Another form of transportation in Goa is the motorcycle taxi, operated by drivers who are locally called pilots. These vehicles transport a single pillion rider, at fares that are usually negotiated. Other than buses, pilots tend to be the cheapest mode of transport. River crossings in Goa are serviced by flat-bottomed ferry boats, operated by the River Navigation Department. Rail <inaudible> 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 Goa has two rail lines, one run by the South Western Railway and the other by the Konkan Railway. The line run by the South Western Railway was built during the colonial era linking the port town of Vasco da Gama, Goa with Belgaum, Hubli, Karnataka via Margao. The Konkan Railway line, which was built during the 1990s, runs parallel to the coast connecting major cities on the western coast. C. The Mormugayo Harbour near the city of Vasco handles mineral ore, petroleum, coal, and international containers. Much of the shipments consist of minerals and ores from Goa's hinterland. Panaji, which is on the banks of the Mandovi, has a minor port, which used to handle passenger steamers between Goa and Mumbai till the late 1980s. There was also a short-lived catamaran service linking Mumbai and Panaji operated by Damania Shipping in the 1990s. See also Outline of Goa Citations <laughs>